Here we have another problem on the board. We say simplify 3x squared plus 4x over 2x plus 9 equal to 5. So we have to simplify this and find the value of all x, right? Now let's get to the solving. The first thing you do here is cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you have that 3x squared plus 4x over 2x plus 9 equal to 5. You have invisible over 1 here. You cross multiply to make it linear, right? You have that 3x squared plus 4x, which, because 1 is multiplying this, right? But in mathematical, you cannot write 1 and open up a bracket, right? So we leave it this way. Equal to 5 into what? This. 2x plus 9, right? Here we have 3x squared plus 4x equal to 5 times 2x will give you 10x. 10x. 5 times 9 will give you what? 45, right? Now, you bring this uh, 10x and 45 inside here. You have 3x squared plus 4x. This will change to what? Minus. Because when the sign of uh, the addition crosses the sign of equality, it changes to minus. Likewise, this. You have minus 10x minus 45 equal to 0. Right? Then collect like terms. Since we have x here and x here of the same degree, you bring them together to have what, 3x squared plus, oh, this should be minus, right? 4x minus 10 will give you what? Minus 10x will give you minus 6x, minus 6x, minus 45 equal to zero, right? So from this now, you solve using what? Quadratic uh, method. This is in form of quadratic equation because the general form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, right? So from here, from here now, a is what? a is three, b is what? minus six, and c is what? minus forty-five, right? So solving this quadratically. You can either solve using factorization method or using the general method, the general formula, which is, oh, but I prefer using the general formula. So, which is x equal to minus b plus or minus into like, uh, square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Right? So, we now substitute the value of all these, a, b, and c, inside this formula then you get your final x. That's all. Now, look at this. x is equal to minus b. What is our b? Our b is minus 6. Minus 6 plus or minus square root of... Our b is minus 6. Let's put our 2. Minus 4. What's our a? Our a is 3. Our c is what? Our c is minus 45 over over 2a 2 times a our a is 3 right so we simplify further by saying that x is equal to minus times minus will give you what plus so we have 6 plus or minus square root of Minus 6 raised to the power 2 will give you what? It will give you plus 6. Plus 6. Minus times minus will give you plus. Plus, right? 4 times 3 will give you 12. 12 times 45 will give you what? 540. Over what? Over 6. Right? X equal to what? 6 plus or minus Square root of what? 6 plus 540 will give you what? 576. Well, 
five seven six over six. Right? So what's the square root of uh, five seven six is twenty four. So here we have x equal to six plus or minus twenty four over six. Right? So it's either x is equal to you have to separate this the plus and minus at this point so it's either x is equal to 6 plus 24 over 6 or is equal to 6 minus 24 over 6 right so here if x is this we have that x is equal to this 6 plus 24 will give you 30 30 divided by 6 will give you 5 or 6 minus 24 will give you 18. 18 divided by... Oh, 6 minus 24 will give you minus 18. So 18 divided by 6 will give you minus 3. So hence, x is equal to 5 or minus 3. As simple as that.